Cockroaches are more than just a nuisance pest. They are dangerous to live with since they act as vectors for disease. We often joke about the fact that a cockroach could survive a nuclear blast, but they're no match for a small spray of insecticide. Have you ever wondered how insecticides affect cockroaches? Let's find out. Meet Joey the Cockroach. He's luckier than many other insects, as he's been granted his very own suit of armor, an exoskeleton. He's very proud of it, but just like any other armor, it can't offer perfect protection. Although it can help him withstand more force and survive longer, it doesn't protect him from the instant death that comes from exposure to insecticide. Small pores and spiracles allow some of the harmful material to enter his system. For the insecticide, entering Joey's system is just the beginning. It has the potential to kill him in an instant, thanks to lethal compounds like pyrethins and pyrethoids. To understand why these compounds are toxic to Joey, you need to understand how neurons normally function. Suppose Joey's brain asks his legs to start scurrying around in order to freak out some humans. This message would travel as an impulse of positive ions from his brain to the legs via axons and the many neurons along the path. As the ions move through the axons, their charge gradually weakens. And this is not good, because this means the message from the brain won't reach Joey's legs. If the message never arrives, he can't scurry around. To overcome this problem, there are voltage-gated sodium channels along the membrane that can allow positive ions or sodium ions to enter and maintain the strength of the impulse. Since they are voltage-gated, they open like doors in the presence of ions around them. In this case, when a weakened impulse reaches such a channel, they are triggered to open, allowing positive ions to enter and subsequently increase the impulse strength back to its original condition. This allows the impulse to maintain strength until it reaches its intended destination. That's how it normally should function. But when exposed to an insecticide after it breaches the imperfect armor, the harmful compounds will disrupt this critical system. What exactly do these compounds mess with? The doors. These compounds prevent the sodium channels from closing. They keep the doors open, which means the sodium ions keep entering through the membrane and it becomes depolarized. Since the axon is depolarized, the nerve impulses cannot propagate and hence the brain cannot tell the rest of the body to do anything. Joey will become paralyzed and await death, likely by starvation. Congratulations, you now know how insecticides work. And as for poor Joey, well, he will be missed.